And good afternoon, folks. It's time once more, one final time for revolution. Yes, you will get historical blood today. I'm the voice of Dog, and welcome to We the Revolution. It's Act 3, Day 4. Our brother, Bruno Fideli, Fidel, I'm sorry, is alive against all odds and wants us dead. He hates our guts. He hates what we've become. We are loved by the people. Not really so much by the revolutionaries, but the common folk love us, and the aristocracy tolerates us. Yes, we had to play dice against our brother to save our son's hands, and we did. Because I am a master at dice, you see. We begin in court. Our brother is currently leading an army to Paris. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Is currently uh, trying to lay siege to Paris with his army, and we are trying to fight him off. But meanwhile, in court, people are happy. Just let's look. We got 11 influence points. Not bad, if I do say so myself. It's pretty good. Pretty good amount of influence. Prestige and justice. The supervisors of this noble building find those two virtues essential. Prestige and justice are superior to anything else. The day before yesterday, I had the pleasure of having a few drinks with one of your guards, and we talked about our memories. You are aware that serving in the army is an essential requirement for joining the court guard? It is non-negotiable, so this guard must have sold us a tissue of lies about his military service, and the certificate he managed to get is probably forged. Of course, we had had a few drinks. Let's investigate. I don't want to just throw him out. Let's see if he's, if he's, you know, a fake soldier or not. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you'll die. You might die, sir. What's your name? Citizen Panay. You have been accused of rape by two citizens. This is a misunderstanding. I paid them what they were due. Why are they now holding a grudge against me? Did they ask you for that money? If they didn't, they wouldn't have put it in their pockets, would they? They claim that you threatened them with a knife. I always carry it, but I didn't threaten anyone. Oh yeah, no, we don't care about the law. We care about wh how it's going to affect us. What is it? Where is it? How it affect me? Um, our reputation is stellar. Our wife hates us. Our eldest son hates us. Even though we saved his hand. Saved his hand. Rat plague. Days left. Four days left of rat plague. Minus two influence. Minus one common folk endorsement. Minus one revolutionary endorsement. Okay. Hmm. Yes. I see. It's a problem. All right. The case. For the crime of rape, Mark Panay is a 42-year-old 42 42 -year widower and a master of gunpowder production. Craftsman's employees like him, and he's generally respected and has never been in trouble with the law. Two of his female employees have accused him of rape. High demand of gunpowder in Paris currently. The shop is working day and night and employs twice as many people as usual. Citizens Faganet and Bach have been working there for only a few weeks and had not met before. Allegedly assaulted in the storehouse behind the mill. They testified that he threatened them with a knife and ordered them to enter the storehouse and get undressed. After he finished, he gave them both a few copper coins. Okay. They only dared to denounce him after a few days after they found out about each other's terrible experiences. Oh, I was... Hmm. Ha, ah, silly me. Ha, 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 ha. I thought this all happened at once. No, this is... Uh, these are isolated incidents that he's done more than once. Okay. Uh-huh. We wish to express our solidarity with the defenders of Paris and ask for the quick resolution of Mark Panay's trial. Gunpowder is currently more important to us than gold. All 
All right. There is a trap here. It's gunpowder. Probably gunpowder. Mill. Method. Rape. M uh. Uh. Defense. Neither of these really make sense, but I do have one. Okay. Victim. Yeah, I know. Uh, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, what? Does it feel like they've gotten a little worse at, 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 at like, over time with these questions? I feel like they've been a little bit less developed in, this, in like, synta syntax-wise. Yeah, like, what? What does that mean, exactly? What is this? Why am I asking him to... I kind of want to start with this one because this is like the only one... Like, here, here's your only chance to save your, save your ass right now. Oh, Bach is one of the women. Yeah, I did want to hear from one of them. Haven't you executed the entire city of Paris yet? No, but I'm close. How you doing? Oh. Just here for French justice. I, I thought you were going to say brutality, but yeah, no. No, justice! Folks. Justice, Stop. exactly. It's justice! Well, this guy's accused of rape, and we're hearing from one of his victims. Yeah, Oozworm is here. Say hi to Oozworm, guys. Hi! Uh, night shifts at a powder mill does not sound like work for... Great. Man, you you put <laughs> you put me in a situation. Fuck. Justice. Fidel, you suck. There's a high demand for powder, so they pay good money for the night shifts. Did you need money? Who doesn't? Who's on trial here all of a sudden? Okay. Did Citizen Panay offer you money in exchange for satisfying his urges? No, he just came with the knife. Did you take the money? I have it with me. If you like, you can give it to some poor children or shove it down the man's throat. Why did you accept it? I don't know. It happened so fast. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's it's expensive. Uh, man, these questions. I only get to ask one. But I'll ask, did you try to defend yourself or scream? I came in for the worst one. This is good. Yeah, these... Qu well, this, this question is terrible, too. Why did you wait so long? This is the, stan this is the standard shit that, you, that you've seen, like, any time women have shown up. And, and this, is, has ha this has happened a lot in this game, and it's been completely as expected. The men do not want women to have a bigger place in society. No, no response. Yeah, these are questions that still get asked today. It wouldn't I have hate helped. To, hate to question the progressiveness of 18th century France. Yeah, I'm really disappointed right now in 18th century France. I had such a high opinion of them. 
Uh, yeah, and the jury is always just awful. Yeah, the dude is a lot bigger than me. So that didn't help his case. Would you like to comment on that? She wasn't tearing herself away from me. Should have said something before we went in there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's one question. That's one question. Let's do that again four more times. Oh, I don't have to. I, I could just... I mean, I gave... I... Hmm. Why there? Why behind the mill? Oh, because it's... Because it's comfortable there. It's comfy. Yeah. Uh huh. Loud enough to drown out screams. Love needs a little privacy. He's right. Uh, he's right. I also take women behind the mill. Pardon? <laughs> Fuck off, audience. I actually kind of lost what we were talking about here. I think we're I think we're just kind of there was no conversation. I've heard enough. I I think I've heard enough. I know I have to answer some questions, but I don't care. Why was the victim working in a powder mill? Oh, I didn't hear this because I didn't ask the right questions. Uh, all of these are fucking plausible. I thought you just said shit's expensive. She did, but she might have said something different. Mm. She's got a sick family. His act was not counter-revolutionary. Defendant did confess to the crime. Why was he carrying a knife? That looked like a bread knife, honestly, in the thing. It didn't look like a sharp knife. Or like, you know, like a, I don't know, like a meat knife. It looked like a bread knife to me, but I could be wrong. Bread, obviously. Even though I feel... Could you use a knife to check quality of gunpowder? How would that help? The victim accept money for the intercourse. Yes, technically. There was there. She took. She did take the money with her and has it. Doesn't mean she wanted it. Just kill him and we'll pretend this whole thing never happened. Yeah. Well, no. We'll pretend it happened. I, we'll, we'll, we'll know it happened. You know, it, it just... Maybe it won't happen again. Yeah. Maybe the law will have a function in society and people will learn from, mis from other people's mistakes? I don't know. Maybe the law will be a deterrent? A specialist killed over such a trivial thing? <laughs> My God! Who will make powder for our cannons now? I was wrong about the bread. And yes, he confessed to the crime. Fuck you. He absolutely confessed to the crime. Man. But it was comfy back there. It, but... <laughs> fuck. So it doesn't count. Ugh. Oh. This game's great. I, I mean... 18th century France is great. I mean, I am enjoying this game, but... We are, we are seeing society in a certain light here. Manipulation. Carelessness. And how about aggression? No? That's a weak one? What do you think, Oozworm? How should we be... How should we talk about the crime? Should we be careless? Should we speak with humility? Or should we be manipulative? I mean... Manipulation's always good. Yeah, let's manipulate them. They're idiots. They don't know what's good for them. Yeah. Future generations will remember that we were not cowards. They will remember us delivering punishment for such hideous crimes. 
Yeah, they like that shit. They love it. There you go. They fucking love it. Will you just stand there and allow criminals to tell you what to do? Let's get something to eat. Woo! Woo! Lunch, yeah! I mean, they do like their lunch. Rep, rep plus four. My rep is yeah. out of hand. My rep is too good right now. Just wait until you run out of gunpowder. You'll be sorry. Yep. Achievement unlocked. Bloody God. Did you come to visit the English nice. whore? That's the new code name they gave me in prison. I'm so sorry, Grass. The guard should not... How did oh, you... this whole revolution of yours shouldn't. But this is who you are. If I ever get out of here, I will charge you triple. What do you want? To offer you absolution. Since you came to offer it, you must want something in return. What? Madame de Stal. Yeah, we're after her next. I'm not a panderer, sorry. The only thing I can currently give you is a rat that I killed yesterday. I'm not feeling all that hungry recently. Yet, you are the only person that can help me. That can help Paris. Do you remember when someone stabbed you in the middle of the street and I stitched you up? Yes, actually. Did I still not help you enough? That was pretty helpful. Oh, but yeah, and yet we're still trying to get more out of her because, man, we're we're really. I wonder if we can help her because she's like one of the few people who have actually been good to us and have not stabbed us in the back. Carefree means careless. Attached means manipulate. Withdrawn also means manipulate. Let's be careless about blackmailing. Woo. Yeah, that works. No single Parisian is lacking evidence that can be used against them. Tell me, what can we charge her with when the need arises? I'm not asking for the truth. Only something that would be convincing. <laughs> I doubt you will find anything. De Stahl is clean. That's why women chose her. I do not believe you are telling me the whole truth. Ask however many times you wish. I can't give you what you want, because I don't have it. Okay, I know we're friends and all, but I still don't believe you. Do you really wish to spend so many more months in this place? Help me, and I will help you. Help me help you help us all. The style will get burned trying to blackmail me and the people who fight for the freedom of Paris. Though I would delight in making sure she stays in the fire for longer. Since there is no evidence of her crime, I'll create it. Let me go, and I'll arm you with a charge strong enough to destroy anyone. Even someone as innocent as de Stahl. There you go. You gotta get in on, on you know, the sneakiness. It was a quick turnaround. Yeah. Hey, how much longer you want to be in here? Really? Come on. We're the good guys, remember? We do good things. Ah, what do we do with our family tonight? Our wife hates us. Oh, and our son hates us too. Hmm, safe path. Oh. Oh. That's right, all of the stuff is just like, our family hates us because now we're all about war. Barricades seem to work. Our wife will just hate us even more for that. Maybe we could get... Um, now, let's be practical. Safe path. 
Our family continues to despise us. That's fine. The people will love us. There's no way to always do the right thing. How is war going? Okay. Seven, ten, twelve, nine, twelve, physician. Eight, ten, twelve. Good. Those three garrisons are maxed out. We want to make sure that they're full when they get attacked because they're locked up when they're about to be hit like that. Um, which I guess means keep positioning dudes around here, especially here. See, 7, 10, 11. Next turn, I can fill that up. All right, we've got three battles to fight here. And intrigue. Intrigue first. Intrigue first. I have no idea what's going on. Well, we're in like the... We're in like the... the I, I want to say mystery portion, or more like no, the intrigue portion where we, uh, where we plot against someone else in the city who is you know vying for power like us. Uh, right now, right now, women are trying to you know make a play for power, and we're trying to use that for our own ends, or fight that for our own ends. And also, you're playing risk. Got it. Also playing risk on top of that. Perfect. Yes. The problem is that the women's movement is being led by Madame de Stahl, and she is clearly against us, and she will use us as a pawn to, you know, further her agenda. We can't have that, all right? It's us. We can't, we can't, we can't lose. Can't lose the game. So, sign the declaration and gain the support of women, or burn the declaration and arrest de Stahl. I mean, obviously, 18th century France. Burn and arrest. I don't know. I was actually going to. I was gonna. I was gonna make a play for it because I already last time, uh, uh, last stream, I had made a play, and had to convince like a bunch of men to support that. Who needs women? Women, blah. No, I'll, I'll, let's see how this goes, because the men are going to fight us tooth and nail. The men are going to just absolutely despise us, and we're going to have to kill somebody. For sure. But we've got so much influence, we might be able to do it. I like when they have these, like, historical sims, and you can kind of, like... And, and they actually kind of represent a choice, and it's like, eh, I could kind of maybe improve history a bit, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. I, when I played Expedition Conquistador, that was kind of the sense that I got. That was like about Conquistadors meeting, you know, the, the, uh, the natives in Central America. Shut up, Windows. All right, fight all battles. <laughs> Who's first? Oh. I gotta click on one. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Well, you got cannons and they don't. It's true. Seems like a good way to start. Yeah, frontline assault. Just hit their front line as hard as yeah, possible. Shoot with cannons. Yes, you can be really awful in conquistadors. You you totally can. All 
All right, now our main attack. Okay. Civilians are escaping the city or the the district during this time. Can't blame them. Hmm. It's cannons. Neutral. I have one cannon. It's not that much on, on its own. Cannons will f will shoot regardless. I'm pretty sure. Your tactics decide like where you're concentrating your fire more or less. I want to get rid of this guy because then next turn we can just hit them all. Yeah, on the same line. It's weird how this works out. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to work out in my favor when I have enough garrison. All right. Yes, the one that will kill you. The frontline assault. Oh, did they patch in... They patch in little symbols to show you what each side is doing. Neat. Rescued 4,000 civilians. Cool. Next. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Well... They have way more strength in the front. And cannons. Yeah, but if I go neutral, I will take out their cannons in one turn. There you go. Problem is... is clear. Yeah, if they're playing defensively, that might work out for me. Okay, that's fine. He took out he took out my, my levee en masse, which is just my civi my like civilians. I don't I'm not too concerned about those dudes. They're not very strong. Yeah. This is a line of strong dudes apparently. It will take a couple turns to rout them. And I will take some losses. But I do have muskets in the back. Route. Finish the fight. Thirty four hundred civilians saved. Game keeps track of how many civilians are just dying as you're fighting. But we've helped a lot of people. Saved about a hundred and twelve thousand, uh thirty thousand have died, but you know, break a few eggs, etc. etc. Omelets. Same formation. Okay, except I've got my levee on mass in front. Ah, I've got a physician. Yeah, neat. Cool. In that case. Oh, you need to deploy the physician. Ah, I see. Okay, so I should deploy them next turn. Shit, I didn't get rid of the cannons. It's okay, you got a medic. Is that a nun? Yeah, that. well, that's a physician. I'm gonna see if they can, what they can do. Hmm. It's taking me two turns to do this, which sucks, but... 
Que no me come tu fromage without breaking some eggs, my man. There's gonna be a few broken eggs here. There we go. Cannons down, we win. Good job, Levy. Okay, they seem to be locked in this in this row. I just noticed these dudes are barefoot. These guys are just like farmers. It's fine though. He will stand guard for us. He will protect our back line, which is essential. Nope. Uh, well, yeah, if I could have, I would have moved <laughs> my physician to be in the front, so maybe she could... Does she revive, or does she just, like, keep people from dying? What does she do? Asking chat. Frontline assault. Okay, if you're dead, you're dead. So she's damage reduction. So she'll keep my line from dying here. Sure. While we finish off this one last dude. Is that Bruno? That doesn't look like Bruno. Does he have a lieutenant, maybe? Civilians in the section are dropping, probably going to other parts of the city. All right. Bruno has lieutenants who defected from you or were cast out by you earlier in the game. Okay, sure. So, uh... Yeah, an army of the disaffected. That makes a lot of sense. Who is that guy? What are you doing? It looks like you're evacuating people. Reputation plus 15. That's massive. Day 5. In the war zone. Reputation. Huge. Alright, we got news. Ah, yeah. What could have been drunken ramblings turned out to be true. It must have been quite a burden for the man. Luckily, he finally found someone he could trust. Me. I resolved the matter discreetly. The certificate of military service was forged, and to be certain, I asked people who should have known him from the army. Apparently, nobody ever thought such things could be checked. Who would have thought someone could lie about such a thing? It appears this man really wanted this job. Stol stolen Valor? Find a way to kill him. I could accuse him of deceit. That's eh, kind of like killing him. I kind of just want to leave him alone. <laughs> I don't even see the big deal. Like, at this, in this point in history, like, a fake soldier? Who gives a fuck? You want someone, to, you got someone to fight for you, and he, if he actually wants to fight for you, congratulations, you got a body. You need that shit. Just leave him alone. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. I got more important things to do. The women of Paris are incredibly thankful. You see? You see? A new age Done is good. coming. All right, what do we got here? Where are we going? 19th century France? Fuck. Whoa. Uh, what What does everyone... Oh, everyone wants this guy dead. Yes, what, yes. What did he do? Let's find Whoa. out. 
Oh man, before I can even ask him a question, the jury is already shouting. And there's, <laughs> there's, I'm sorry, the, uh, not the jury, the audience is shouting. There's so few people here, though. Etienne. Oh, Etienne, what did this guy do? I think I already know the verdict, says the prosecutor. Death! Behead him. Okay, let's find out what he did, maybe. Sensing a pattern here. For the crimes of assault, murder, and theft, in the dock is Etienne Lebeau, a brawler and degenerate resident of Paris and frequent uh, client of sordid public houses in Faubourg de Glore. Last month, together with his comrade Michael Verrier, he attacked another drinking partner, Jean Baudin. A witness who saw everything claims that Lebeau and Verrier ambushed their victim when he was returning to the attic where he used to sleep. They attacked Boudon in a dark alley, battered him, took his money, and then stabbed him. Soon afterwards, Verrier was detained. During routine questioning, he admitted to participating in the assault. Even though he swore that it was Lebeau who pushed the knife into Boudon, Verrier was sentenced to be guillotined. Meanwhile, Lebeau vanished into thin air. Apparently, he holed up in New Italy. During his arrest, the rogue recited what we have already heard, swearing that Verrier was responsible for stabbing Boudot. Lebeau had with him an elegant pouch that was almost empty. It surely did not belong to him. Evidence, a knife taken from Lebeau. So, attack uh -huh. on a drinking partner. Accusation. Murder. Murder would be an accusation game. That's a, that's a method, obviously. That's how he killed him. With I, murder. I mean... Ah, I, I knew it! Ah! Yeah! I'm not going to pretend that that makes sense, but yes, that yeah, is correct. Killed it with murder, I'm just saying. The embroidered pouch is evidence, but it could also be a motive. No, it's not a motive. Knife taken from Lebeau is evidence. Okay, and murder is also a motive. There you go. Right? Murder is, murder is a motive. That's right. Sure. Motive for what? Murder, obviously, you idiot. Come on. Keep up. Ugh. I'm saying. I hate when this game does that. It's one of the weirdest things about it, that that is just weird syntax. Uh, do you admit to ass assaulting Citizen Boudon? No use lying when everyone knows it. Yeah, me and Perdier ambushed him. To kill him? To rob him, nothing more. I didn't think Verdier would kill him. You did not stop him, did you? What am I, the National Guard? He'd have cut me as well. Uh-huh. Okay, what are the questions I need to ask here? Who took the victim's pouch, and how did you meet the victim? Okay. Where did you first meet the victim? Drinking together for a few months. He painted some things. Kind of a merchant. Always had money. Happy to buy the next round. And you killed such a great companion without scruples? Guy who buys you drinks? You don't kill someone like that. How many times do I have to say it? I didn't kill nobody. Anyway, everyone knew Verrier was a beast. You knew that as well and nonetheless decided to join him? The accomplice of a beast is an animal as well. It was you who had blood on his hands. A guilty man always tries to blame someone else. A tiny Isn't bit of production. Is he currently trying to blame someone else? Yeah, he absolutely is trying. And that, and that guy can't defend himself because he's fucking dead, so... You know, I got it. We'll kill you, and if there's an afterlife, you can ask him. And then we'll... Hmm... We'll have to look into, like, a spirit medium of some kind, and then we can find out if, if, your, if your death was just. And if it wasn't, we'll say sorry. I think that's a good system of law. Yeah. Anyway. Well, if we get stabbed eventually, we can ask him, too. I've been stabbed a few times in this game. I know, I've seen it. It's great. <laughs> Sometimes it's supposed to happen. Sometimes it's not supposed to happen, and it's bad. Uh, oh, right, the pouch. Where did you get the pouch? I'm not worried about this changing the the outcome at all. The jury's the jury's outlook here.
No, I just beat him nearly to death, <laughs> so he couldn't stand. And then, yeah. How else would I rob him? It's got a point. Just robbed him. Shouldn't have chopped off his head. Can't ask him now, can you? Mm -hmm. All right. Did the defendant confess to the crime? Yes. No. No, he which, didn't. Which crime? Assuming Assault? they mean the murder. He didn't, he didn't confess to all of them, but he did confess to... He didn't confess to the one that would make you kill him for it. This is a sh this is a bad question then in this context actually because there are three crimes and we didn't we're not convicting him on three separate crimes we're asking him if he confessed to all of them. I'm going to go with no then this time. Was his act yeah. counter revolutionary? Nah. Uh he said Boudon took it, right? He's I think he took it himself. How did the defendant first meet together? They used to drink together. All right. Death. Death. Let's just get that seal right there on my. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh well. Uh. It's still official. Oh, we got some small cases. Hang on. Count Marion oh. Lejoy, Le 84 years old, and his servant, Elaine Aslan, were caught in the graveyard trying to steal a coffin containing the remains of Honorine Lejoy, the Count's late wife. Let us add that she was decapitated for counter-revolutionary propaganda. Do we uh -huh. release them or kill them? He's 84. He was going to die soon anyway. Death! Yeah. Marcel Manori, a printer... Received, published the treatise without the author's permission. The text was highly popular in Parisian bookshops. It was impossible to retrieve the illegally printed books. Nearly all of them have been sold. Eh, literacy crimes are like the coolest kinds of crimes. Vivienne Le Cerf was found to have poisoned several of the guests that are in with spoiled meat. Death! Death. Yes. Dog meat. They're still not sure if it's pork horse or dog meat. Yeah, <laughs> death. Great, the revolutionaries want to fucking kill me now. Food crimes are like, food crimes are severe crimes, let's face it. We're only cool with English crimes. Yeah, I'm only cool with literary crimes. I guess it would be French crimes. <laughs> I sentence citizen Etienne Lebeau to death by guillotine. Congratulations on a just verdict. Huzzah! Ooh. That rascal had it coming. <laughs> Rascal. <laughs> that rascal getting his that getting himself executed. Wait. Wait, what? Yeah, I told, he took it himself, not Buddha. Oh, I mixed up the names. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I have reading comprehension. What is it? Dumbass. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Literally no one cares. You killed him and everyone wanted to kill him. It's fine. I'd say we're pretty good on our we're pretty good on our rep right now. There's only one thing to do here. Chop it off already. It's getting dark. Woo! Good, good. Provisions and medicine. As our as our relationship with our family deteriorates and falls apart. All right, there's our reinforcements. All 
Oh, man. Unfortunately, I can't keep this up. We've got a problem. Looks fine to me. No, this, this, I'm going to lose this district here. Looks fine to me. I don't know. Eight, ten. I'm, I'll probably be able to keep this one. Why is my effectiveness at 80% though? What does that mean? Look, we're a little outnumbered here. <laughs> Look, our cannon is way better than their cannons. I hope so. Oh, goodbye, Levy. Okay, so maybe not the best. Suppressing fire. Yeah, I couldn't save your cannon, could you? Look, it's fine. We can wear them down and we'll get them as they try to enter the next district. I believe them. All right. We rescued 450 civilians, but 4,300 died. That's a pretty severe loss. They have taken a district. The problem is, we don't know where they're going to go next. Okay, this fight I should win. Entrenchment, huh? Think that's gonna save you? No, goodbye cannons. I hope you got your trenches dug. Coming right for you. I mean, yeah, it sounds about right. Right. Frontline Assault is going to be the best move here. Victory. Ah, we lost one of the better dudes. All right. All right, maybe I can reinforce from the other end. Logistics specialist. What does this guy do? Points. Oh, right. I can do stuff here. What does this do again? Build barricades. Logistics specialist. Right, I already got that. I don't have that yet. Spend more time with my family. So maybe they hate me slightly less.
All right, let's see how we do over here. Now that I know how to use my, uh, my physician, maybe I can use them to stay alive. And I will. I'm just going to deploy the physician on the line that matters. Can you get a cannon physician? No, unfortunately. Cannons are pretty rare. I don't have a lot of them. I have yet to really make a line of cannons worth a damn, and I can only have 12 units at once. I imagine 12 cannons would be pretty formidable. I imagine 12 cannons would die immediately because anyone in front of them would just rush them. They would get one shot off, they would hit the enemy's back line, and then die. French cannon sucks so much. <laughs> they're not... I, yeah, I, I don't think they're great at urban warfare is the thing. Yeah, this is all taking place in the city. I bet getting them around is really hard. Damn. Need another turn or two. All right, Levy has defended my good boys. Paralyzing fear. Residents escape 30% slower. That's fine. Uh, I'm I am going to clear this place out. The residents will have time. Okay. Okay, full, full. There you go. That's a pretty strong garrison there. Frontline riflemen and artillery. This garrison's also pretty strong. Yeah, I feel pretty good about the situation right now, actually. Just need to know what that logistics guy does. I think I think he gets guys out of the areas that I put him in. Sure, a bunch of numbers went down. A bunch of people are evacuating. All right. And a bunch of people are dying. Everybody in there is dying. Wow. <laughs> but rep plus four because I'm doing a great job. <laughs> Despite, apparently this is supposed to go way worse. Apparently I'm doing incredible right now. All right. Like only 45,000 people dead is just, is wonderful. Chat, chat is, can confirm. Yep. Huh. Uh, okay. Do you trust me now? That soldier, like, that soldier that was stealing whatever, I think he trusts yeah. me. Cool. I've got a friend. Oh, boy. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen to this guy. Are you mm. Private Victor Duvall? Yes. How old are you? 17. Well, in my day, children were more responsible than that, fellow. <laughs> How long have you been serving in the army? For three weeks. It's his first month, and you have already managed to commit a war crime. Do you know the possible consequences that await you? Do you want to say something? I did not intend to let the prisoner go free. All right, well, let's see what this is. For the crime of neglect of duty. During a fight in the suburbs, four Lancers from enemy troops were detained by our militia regiment. 
Our soldiers first shot down their horses, then stormed the inn, which the cavalrymen had to run to on foot. Restrained and gagged, the enemies were taken to the temporary headquarters located in a small farm in the country. There was no time for interrogation, as a counteroffensive was still underway. Instead, the prisoners were detained in the storage cellar, guarded by 17-year-old Private Victor Duval. Following protocol, he was armed with a rifle and a pistol. Pistol? Pistol. In the evening, one of the officers wanted to move the lancers to the general staff. He found the guard was sleeping near the door, and one of the cavalrymen had managed to escape. His companions must have lifted him up and helped him to remove the old rusty bars. The escapee gave away the location of our field staff, and lost, and we lost our prisoners. Hmm. So you fell asleep on guard duty. That's neglect of duty, all right. That's neglect. One trap. Probably the rusty bars. Sleeping guard. Course of events or accusation? Is it an accusation? It sounds like it happened. Yeah. Unquestionably. Farm in the country. Okay, crime scene. Crime scene? Storming an inn. Course of events. Fight. Course of events? I guess that's extenuating circumstances. One of these is extenuating circumstances, the other is a trap. Let's look at the thing again. A fight what? in the suburbs. Oh, I think that... Is that really extenuating circumstance? The rusty bars must be the trap. Must be? Yeah. It? Yeah, because the rusty bars are not... It's not I the guards... Know. It's not his crime that the bar... That the, the bars were rusty. Like, they could have escaped anyway, if you look at it that way. Alright. The logic of this game doesn't always make sense. <laughs> but I have learned to I think. think. So. Alright, what are the questions that we need to answer? What was the defendant fighting on the day of the incident? How does that matter? Because that's why he fell asleep. Oh, yeah, maybe. Were you so tired on the day of the incident? Why were you so tired on the day of the incident? Were you fighting? Only in the morning. <laughs> oh, well, you know. I, that, that just really strikes. Just only, I only had a, a quick fight that morning. A fight, you know, a fight. Like one of those things that goes to the death sometimes. Why? Oh, my column was under artillery fire. There was panic, and we escaped. <laughs> we fought all afternoon back in the day. I have to kill this guy, by the way. I have to kill this guy. I just want chat to know that this guy has to die. A man standing right next to me was torn in half by a round shot. Yeah, I was scared. You were also too scared to shoot the prisoners. If I hadn't been sleeping... Maybe the audience should stop... Maybe. Maybe the audience should stop talking. Really? That led to innocence? Yep. Sometimes, sometimes the questions don't go the way you think they will. I'm just considering audience reaction. Just a slight push was enough. Oh yeah, it's game over if you go if you go too low on any faction. So I have to kill this guy, no matter what the jury thinks. Didn't have much sleep at the time. A few weeks in the army and you're already exhausted. He was so angry, he almost shot me on the spot. Shame he didn't. They could have taken your weapon and killed someone. I know that. Alright, how many soldiers were in the headquarters when the prisoner escaped? 
Now 30. With her other guards. 30 culprits, but only one scapegoat. Hey, someone back there is like, hey, this is fucked. I think they were patrolling along the fence. And none of them caught the escapee. Apparently not. Calling the wit- wait, witness? What? Captain Tell Barry. Their heads off. Why is his name spelled differently there? I don't know. Mistranslation? Yeah. This is not a French game. This is like, uh, this is a, um, Eastern European game. I forget where. Ukraine, maybe? Why did you leave such an inexperienced soldier on watch? Or do you really not? I was gonna say I'd ask the first one because you're not trying to. You're trying to kill the guy. Yeah. Do you consider him to be a traitor? He let a prisoner escape, which allowed the enemy to. I read the files. And why are you asking ridiculous questions? Is your judgment not too harsh? War knows no mercy. We must be aware of the price of victory and the punishment awaiting those who harm our cause. He was well aware of his responsibilities. Yeah, it's Polish. There it is. Hey. Good. Jerry. Right, kill him, kill him, go, go, go. Kill, 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 yeah. kill. Stamp, 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 stamp. Oh, no more time for questions. Goodbye. Oh, my hand's shaking so much. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Right there. He did confess to the crime. Was well, that counter revolutionary? Is it counter revolutionary? He fell, uh, he fell asleep. That's not really counter revolution. But he let a prisoner escape. He he let a prisoner escape, which is kind of, yeah. Does that count? <laughs> they might. Neglect of duty may count as treason, mm. because we did ask if he's a traitor. Oh, well, he said he's a traitor. So sure. Um. Only in the morning. <laughs> He, he was, but his unit deserted the battlefield. They didn't desert. They had to retreat. Like, why is it... Why is it... Why is it treason if you lose a battle? My God. Your Man, negligent Poland attitude sucks. towards your duties could cost many people their lives. We will make an example of your execution. What savage kills a kid because he was sleepy? Wait, the jury is turning now? <laughs> What the fuck? You there was like one asshole in there who was really mean, who was who was just a jerk and was really loud. Oh yeah, this is a what? period th this is definitely a period of terror. Garanus, if you're just joining us, we're like we're pretty late game here and so like all of the mechanics have made themselves known, so the game is like pretty all over the place at this point, but it's interesting. Um, let's do a speech. We've got an oversensitive attitude towards the defendant, which means we will be, we will speak with humility. Uh, and they're attached to the revolution, the idea of revolution, so we will be manipulative. Now the crime we're going to guess on, let's guess what will be careless. A perfect argument. Perfect. perfect. The convict was curious about the taste of crime. Now we shall give him his desert. Nice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> By passing this sentence, we are making our streets safer. Not really. I am not mourning the one being guillotined, but us, his victims. Man, you're really up your own ass with this. The reign of the previous rulers, whose goal was to bring injustice to the people, ends with their swift deaths. Yes, this tiny child. Hey. This... We are up our own ass, but the crowd's there, too. This this war child. Oh, man. Rep plus four. I can't... My rep cannot go higher. Don't do it, please! I'll never fall asleep on duty again, I promise! You'll never sleep again. Rude. 
Oh, oh, our son wants to say something. Our <laughs> son that hates us. Dad, are you the bad guy? Dad, fuck you. Oh, it's just, I, I, I hated you for a long time. Uh-huh. Oh, I think, okay, but that night when your brother kidnapped us, everything changed. Did you see that, by the way? Did you see us play dice? Yeah, I was here for that one. That was really good. That was pretty tense. I was tense. here for that. Son, I honestly didn't believe he would actually let us go. I looked death in the eyes, and I understood that this is just who you people are. Sick. <laughs> emotionally crippled. Yep. Did he look it, death in the eyes? I thought he was just going to chop his hand off. I mean, he thought he was going to die. Like, that's fair. An entire generation unable to let go of the past and capable of forgiveness. This is starting to feel like Lisa a bit. Full of anger. And we are the ones reaping what you've sown. I've done with hatred because I don't want to be like you. I can still fix everything. You can't fix squat. Nothing will be fixed until you all die of old age and bitterness. Only then can my generation start changing the world for the better. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. I need a drink. I need a drink. I'll be back. All right. Well. It's my stream now, motherfucker. <laughs> Nineteenth century France. <laughs> we good. God, he's just Im just immediately good. fuck you, boomer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, yeah, like your Common. your dad just did a thing. Your dad just did a big thing for women's rights, by the way. Like he probably doesn't even care about that. Probably just sees the monstrous shit he's done. I mean, that's totally valid, I would think, at this point. If you were seriously doing all of these horrible things and then did uh, just a nice thing for, you know, like, hey, let's work together with women to do horrible things to, our, to ourselves and the people. I no longer hate you. Perhaps one day I will even manage to understand why you didn't want to be different than the rest. Well, there we go. He doesn't hate us. Soon I will leave this place and start searching for the answer to this question. You won't be able to stop me. Are the numbers actually going to change, or is he still going to hate us? I think he still hates us, but I think he's. I don't think it's going to matter soon. Let's try barricades to stop the, the flow of attack here. He's already bottomed out. He hates us. All right. What do we got? Oh, okay, cool. Now we can get physicians. Field hospital. Yeah. Okay, this is not how I expected this to go, and this is... Perfectly fine. I wasn't expecting him to do that. What, what's wrong with Northeast? Northeast is fine. Did I miss something? Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Why? I can't put anyone there. Ah. Oh, I didn't notice that at all. That's... Hmm. All right. That that does seem unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate that I just fucking missed that entirely. Well, that's stupid on my part, I guess. You're a flank, dog. Yeah. Oh, well. Damn. 666 revolutionaries in a good neighborhood. How'd you get flanked? That's the outside of the map. They must have gone outside the city. They must have attacked from a different part of the city. Or, you know, 
gone. The, Paris, you can go, Paris, you can attack from any direction, right? In in theory. <laughs> That's not on the game map. Well, in in the game's defense, it showed me that it was going to do that, and I didn't catch it. Yeah, this is a this is what you refer to in history as a tactical blunder, for sure. Which means now I'm going to have to scramble to defend every district that touches, which is going to suck. Hopefully, I will last long enough. Finish off that back line. Still going to take two more turns. <clears throat> Oh, man. Well. Yep. At least it's two against one. Still, that sucked. I lost ten guys. I can't replace that easily. Yeah, I can't hit their cannons. But if I take suppressing fire... Well, let's get rid of their muskets. I'm gonna lose my three guys. Oh shit. Their cannons are gonna be firing on my back dudes. Get one, take one, no. Oh, wow, that's bad. Oh, oh. Didn't look like you hit you that hard. Oh shit, I had the healer. I forgot, this is the one with the healer. Fucking, uh, mmm. It's not gonna uh, do anything. Shit. I'm just making misplays all over the place here. These fucking cannons, I can't get to them. That's what we call the point where the war turns. Yeah, the, the war turns because I keep making mistakes. I'm gonna lose a dude. No. Yeah. Please finish them. Please finish that one dude. There we go. There we go. K 
cannon I don't even think can fire from up here. It's probably not allowed. No, it can. Still shot that guy in the face. Oof. I mean, we won. I know, but we lost a lot. I'm still surprised we won. Why are you... Okay, yeah, thank you. Five days before relief comes. I need to pull back. I need to see if I can hold off here, but I also need to hold off here. I don't think they can attack the river from, without getting either of these districts. And they might get these two, but I gotta hold on to this one. And this one. And these two. So, pretty much all of them. Hmm, not entirely. Less than you think, but they are going to take a few. Two of them. I'm going to give up these two over here. I should have moved that guy. He's probably going to die now. I don't know. He's pointing pretty strongly. Day seven. Well, okay. there we go. That's a shame. <laughs> Could have seen that coming. So, how are we doing here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Someone's going to be mad at me. Is your name Bastian Baudet? You have moved into Citizen Soleil's apartment without permission. There are lots of empty apartments in Paris. We chose one of them because we didn't have anywhere else to go. Oh, so he's just poor. A resourceful man will always find a way to care for his family. It was not a resourceful man. It was empty, so we went inside. I couldn't let my children sleep under the open sky. Yeah, being, being poor during a war is a crime. For the crime of burglary, destruction of property, theft, and assault. 33-year-old baker, Bastion Baudet, moved into an empty house. House had been hit by a mortar round, and the shell's imp impact broke the ceiling and one of the walls, and they were discovered by the owner of the seemingly empty house. The Soleil family didn't actually leave, they ran away temporarily. Okay. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really vacant. It was just damaged and temporarily abandoned. Uh, legitimate owner of the house realized that his silver cup <laughs> was, yeah, so then he was robbed and his supplies were consumed. Uh -huh. His furniture had been Shopped chopped up, up and furniture. burned. Okay. All right. All right. Like, I don't really want to kill this guy. But here's the thing. You know, it's funny how many, like, how crazy this game got after they removed the prison option. Because we used to have an option to just send dudes to prison. Yeah, I joined in after that already got taken away, so I didn't see that. Yeah, there used to be a prison option, and some people actually preferred prison because, you know, it's a set... It's actually a sensible medium between killing someone and letting them go after doing... after they do a crime. <laughs> hmm... Now it's cake or death, yeah. 
Sounds like a great game show. Drew Carey could host that. I was almost going to not engage with this case because of how because of the circumstances. Empty house, course of events. Oh, there are two traps here. What's the struggle though? Oh right. Course of events. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Struggle is not a trap. Mortar around is probably a trap, and empty house victim. What? Victim. Okay. The chopped up furniture was a victim. Oh. Chopped up furniture was a course of events. No, that's a trap. How about the mortar round? Is that the course of events? Okay. That. Fuck you. That that's dumb. <laughs> um. Is it true your house was destroyed by artillery fire? Indeed. Was anybody killed? My father-in-law was crushed by rubble and timber. Nothing like that. Thank God that nothing happened to the children. Yeah, I, I am. In, this game is entertaining, even if it's all if all of its systems don't necessarily work together. Uh, I think it's a really interesting game, and I have enjoyed it for like twenty hours. So I would highly recommend it. For it's only fifteen bucks. Yeah, the trials are neat. The cutscenes are awesome. It tells a pretty interesting story, you know, a, a historical fiction. You responded by destroying Citizen Soleil's house? Had to keep my children warm at night. There was no brushwood nearby. Was I really supposed to look for it when there was just wood lying around? <laughs> Paris is dying, and they worry about furniture. You're dying too, bitch. Wait, wait, wait. I was trying to... Hang on. What made nope. you believe Citizen Soleil's apartment had been abandoned? Nobody was inside. The ash in the fireplace was cold. Did you ask the neighbors? You could have started. No. Why? No. It's too busy looking for food for my children. Is that why you sold their silver cutlery? Have you seen the price of butter? Nobody would give me food for wooden spoons. What about meat? Do you know how much they ask for lamb? Bloody merchants. There it is. A hair underneath death. Mm. Yes, we did it, guys. Because people hate merchants. Wait, why was the house empty? Probably from a fire. Left. Yeah, the fire. But it's grayed out, which means we haven't... It was not mentioned during the interrogation, which means we probably have really? to call him in... Yeah. Which means we have to call him in as a witness, which means it, it's going to change the jury's opinion, which means no. <laughs> I thought he did mention that. He... No, he, he mentioned... Uh, he mentioned why his house was destroyed. Why he was homeless in the first place. Not why the house that he w ended up staying in was damaged. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it does matter, because this the, these things get you on that. It's happened Innocent. to me several times in this about. game. <laughs> Innocent. See look, here's the here's the here's the correct one. Uh they got destroyed by a mortar round. Yeah. Something had mentioned that the house was on fire, I don't Maybe. He did not talk to anybody. Signed. Acquittal. Signed. Waxed. Boom. Ah. Hmm. Gonna have to be careful here. Mm. Jordan Maitre, 76-year-old, had a fight with his wife of the last 52 years. Angry, he went to a prostitute and was seen walking with her to an apartment. The accused claims that nothing happened because he lacked the physical strength. His wife supports yep. the accusation anyway. You know, I think that's punishment enough. <laughs> yeah, I think let's just let him let him go. No one cares about that one. This is an aristocrat, so I have to let them go. He stole 16 large jars of jam. Oh, no. 
That's this guy's a, this guy's a glutton. Whatever. Two convicts escaped prisoner transport, but Doe, the convoy leader, was so incompetent that the local authorities had to wait several hours until they were informed about the incident. The convicts mm. disappeared. You know what? Hang uh, around a bit more. <laughs> Clement, the Clement, the jam fiend, yeah. We're feeling nice today. Yeah, well, I mean, I want, I don't want the aristocrats to kill me again, so... You cannot completely shit on them at all times. They, you will die. Got to throw them. You got to throw them like you know a few bones now and again, but small ones. Considering the circumstances, I cannot punish you. I can only hope that you will defend Paris with as much determination as you defend your family. He probably won't. He seems really lazy, except for when it comes to his family. Where will they stay? I don't know. Find another house. We'll see you next time. Later. Five out of five. Great job. We did it. How's our reputation? 20. Max. Maximum. Cannot get any more popular. Pop. Pop. Cannot get any more pop. Poplar. Yeah. Popular. Words are hard, alright? Fidel, you know what? You know where they are. They're gone. My son! My son! Where's my son? My child! Mathilde didn't have to look for him. Mathilde didn't say anything. And she wasn't going to tell you anyway. <laughs> We've abandoned our boy. Actually, no, your boy abandoned you. Your boy is 17 years old. I've abandoned my child. This game kind of... This game kind of feels like there will be blood. Man, you ever see that movie? No. It's really good. It's like one of my favorite movies, honestly. Even though it's like really long. It's, still, it's so well done. Daniel Day-Lewis is just absolutely brilliant. I abandoned my child! There Will Be Blood is about Daniel Day-Lewis' character, uh, Daniel Plainview, and he's an oil man. He's a self-made oil man. You know, he started out digging in the dirt and eventually worked his way up to management and, you know, owning an oil company. And over time, he took in this kid... And starts to try to move in on this community that may have oil that he got a tip about. And he ends up clashing with the local religious, uh, the local Catholic community and their clergy over, you know, land rights and stuff. And it doesn't sound very interesting, but it's just the acting is just so explosive. It works so well. And it, it, it has one of the greatest endings I've ever seen in a movie. There will be blood. Yeah, that's where I will drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake comes from. What a fantastic line and delivery. It just hits you so hard. But anyway, our grandfather believes in us until the end. Daniel Day-Lewis frees France at the end, right? Wait, what does he do at the end? He totally frees France, right? Yes, he does. Goodbye. Goodbye, family. Abandoned. <laughs> Only your father is by you. <laughs> Nobody wants to spend As time always. with you. <laughs> oh, this, yeah, this is kind of, this is, that is how it ends. And that his son abandons him at the end of, uh, uh, there will be blood. Eventually, hey, even we his have son reputation. cannot stand him. But our reputation is fantastic. Okay. Ooh, one more barefoot guy. Good, I'm glad. I can't see the counter on this. Or how many... Okay, I got six. Okay, I got ten dudes here. I need to put two more dudes here.
Oh man, my my logistics guy is fucking dead. He's still there. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's holding strong. Well, I can recruit a new one for five more. <laughs> Get another doctor, okay. I, I cannot. I cannot recruit a physician. I've. I have a physician already. You can only have one at a time, apparently. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. No, cannons, and then fill the rest with levy. There we go. You got twelve. Oh, we got a battle here. Okay, here's a battle we can fight. Troops, large. All right. We're mostly common troops. We're going to have to... Oh, man, this could be rough. Is this literally the same battle we had last time? No. No, this is worse, actually. We got to get rid of that front line quickly. Yeah, they're going to fall quickly. Kinda even. Hopefully we'll kill their front line. Yes, good. So good. There's a chance. Yes, there is a chance. There's still a chance. Shit. Oh. Well, what the hell? What happened? That's unfortunate. Fortunate. Mm hmm. Ah, he's dead. Oh. Shit. All right, that's a problem now. Now everything is much worse. This is, like, way worse now. This is going really well two days ago. It was. I don't want to have to restart. It's unfortunate. I'm not going to restart. If I lose here, this is how the, this is how the stream ends. <laughs> this is how Revolution will end. Yeah, the HQ is all that matters. That's correct. I was playing this map to the best of my ability, but the game decided, mm, nah, at some point threw everything into chaos, made me divide my troops up in stupid ways. I will not tolerate this. I will succeed. You can have those two districts, but that's it. Okay. A lot of people are going to start dying. Oh, reputation minus 13. Cool. 
Oh. That's, that's kind of massive. Problematic. Yeah, that's like a huge... That's almost all of my reputation. Ah, minor case day. Cool. Alright, my reputation is only 10 right now. Stay on target. A bunch of aristocrats lured an off-duty guard officer to an old uninhabited house where they beat him unconscious. No motive. They didn't kill him. Death? <laughs> Inciting counter-revolutionary shit. Death. Crush a child's legs. I want to say death, <laughs> but I can't because it might kill me. So, so you know, uh, stealing bread. Needed the bread for the starving children. I guess. Often drunk. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Group of aristocratic cavalry men deserted the army. Ah, terrorized the employees of a roadside inn. Raped the female servants. Drank for three days. Returned to the army. Yeah, kill him. Just hanging on. Hanging on. Oh, gotta sign it. Gotta sign it. Don't forget to sign. Good talk. Hanging in there. Staying alive. Hanging. Somehow. Here at the end of society. How's the family? Oh. Uh-oh. Well, now what? What is happening now? Oh, boy. Matilde. What? Oh, no. Oh, good. <laughs> I do not understand. That's a weird delivery on that. <laughs> I, do I, do, I do not understand. Do you hear me? Are we... Always. What? I fixed you. You will live at least for now. What? Where what? am I? <laughs> uh, who are you? <laughs> I am the truth about your unhappiness and the lie about your greatness. What? They are both the reasons for your presence what? in this place. Where everything started. I don't understand. Same. I repaired all the damage, as I always do. You will live, but do you want to? Are you ready to admit that it is my performance, my show? We've had three other people say that to us already. Matilde, I love her so. I know, but she no longer returns that love. Not for a long time. I made sure of that. Who the hell are you? I am the truth overcoming the lies that you keep telling yourself. The lies that you are here for power. Is this a stand-in for the for player? For numerous choices and endings. I have not designed you for that. Designed? Are we German? You are supposed to suffer. Mm -hmm. to make Like maybe 20, 30 percent? To feel. Now is the only real choice you will ever make. To die and never feel anything again. Or to really feel what being a true hero is like. I am a judge, not a... Tell me, when was the last time you read all the files connected to a single case? All right, look, game, you don't have the to... Last time <laughs> you, you don't have to do this. Everything the accused had to say. Look, I know what you're doing, and you don't have to, because I've already understood and internalized that the game is doing this. I need a hero, not a judge. People want to be heroes. How could I? My wife wanted to kill me. My family hates me. Fight for their lives. How a little on the nose, isn't it? Like, yeah, just a bit. It's this is a little ham-fisted, just a tad. Army. 
Then be a shield for the poor and terrified souls who, who do not have anyone else to defend them. A shield? I could open your wounds instead, and you will never suffer again. Perry would fall. But uh, since you are not interested, I would find someone in your place. Here is the choice you craved so dearly for. Death, death, death. Oh, We're going to end the game right now. Get the lever! Yeah! Oh, what a pity. After all my hard work, you have, however, made a decision. Well then, you really had my attention for a good amount of time, game. You had, you, you, you did, you were going somewhere. I realized we weren't going somewhere good. I realized we were, we were, you know, really just, hmm, hmm. It's hard to see. You hate to see it. That was a pretty nothing ending. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that. Oh, it gets really... and it gets worse if you choose to live. Do I do I show that off? I might show that off if I can. Can I? I can probably rewind and do that, right? I'd say when you do that, does does the game just keep going the way it was before? I can probably rewind a day or two. I don't recommend it. <laughs> maybe I'll. Now we have to. Maybe I'll do. I think what I'll do is I'll. I'll I'll play some capitalism now, but maybe I'll show this show that off. The bad end. The bad bad ending. Oh man, this is the bad ending. Yeah. I really enjoyed like the leading up to this part of the game like up to act three felt pretty good Bad ending and worsen. oh is this modern day this looks like modern day who is buried here mother alexis fidel know. nobody important i suppose just some guy Pretty prevalent spot for a fucking gravestone. Ha! <sighs> well, guys, you know, that's why you stick to it with a game. You just never know. You, ne you never worst. know how it's gonna go. I feel like a bit of capitalism, a bit of chill anime capitalism. How do you, what do you think about that, folks? Let's adjust. Thank you, Oozworm, for hanging out, by the way. Um, yeah. If you're not following twitch.tv slash Oozworm, go ahead and do that. Uh, Oozworm is the best player and worst player of um, Tech Mobile that exists. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's incredible. Ooh. It's really... that. No, seriously, that's like one of my favorite streams because you... That, that was like some um, Breaking Madden shit where you just found the worst way to play the game and how to lose the hardest. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so cool. Well, what was the score eventually that you got? 210 to nothing, I think I lost by. Holy shit, that's way more than I thought. Yeah, well, it caps at 99, so I had to keep count. 
Right, yeah, the, the chat was keeping count, I remember that, but I thought I thought you was only like 100-something. No, you got over 200? I think it was 200 by the time I was done with it. That's crazy. Oh, I gotta... Packers won the Super Bowl! I gotta fix chat. Yeah, I mean, look. I... It's hard for me to be upset about games that don't that have bad endings. I it's never really bothered me too much. It bothered me in like when I was playing games like Silent Hill for the first time and stuff. But I got it over it eventually. Really at all though, was the... it wasn't. No, and I and I and I really didn't like it. I just no. I know exactly what the fuck you're doing. I've seen it in other games and media before. It's never good. I never like it. It, it went off a cliff, and the game gave me an out, and I took it, Dominic. Uh, I will I will probably check out the the full text of the ending eventually, but not right now. Thank you, Volatile Play. But hey, not to shit on the, de the dev, honestly, even, because they still made a game that I enjoyed for 16 hours, and that's an achievement. So, hey, Poly Slash Games, good job. Maybe work on your um, your Deus Ex Machina at the end there. Maybe maybe uh, pull pull up, turn left, poly slash. No. <laughs> also, I just checked. Apparently, it was 160 to nothing. Okay. So not over 200, but still good. All right. Thank you for gifting that sub to Ryuku. Congratulations, Ryuku, on your free sub to me, the voice of dog. Let me just uh, fix chat here. Can any number of subs really compensate for that? Um. Yes, actually, subs can compensate for that ending. True. <laughs> Lots of things can compensate I just for that. I didn't ending. think the game was gonna end there. You're man. You're telling me. I had what? no idea. No man. Who? Who? No one saw that coming out of out of any of us. Don't feel bad. We had fun with the game. That's what's important. Just confused. Yeah, I'm confused too, but in a good way. I, hey, the the ending of Jimmy really bummed me out, but I still loved it. Thank you, History's Greatest Monster. Like, it bummed me out, and I had to grapple with the with the ideas behind the ending for a while until I could accept it, and it, and it literally took me a little while to, to handle it. But I still enjoy the game and still recommend it to everyone. Oh, I never stopped that last segment. We're going just right into... Yeah, I'll, I'll at least fragment that. <laughs> that that's that's going to be a go, funny... Go, go. That's going to be funny on the recording. It's just going to be like, oh, he just never stopped. All right. Till the next video, YouTube watchers. <laughs>